You can start off your opening meditation laying down or sitting down any way you'd like. If you're sitting, grab your towel or your blanket, fold it so that you make a little seat for yourself and sit down on that prop. This is gonna help you open up your hips, it's gonna help you sit nice and tall. When we can create a tall posture, it does a lot of good things for our body. It creates an even flow of energy through our body. They also say that when we sit up tall, we remember things that are positive for us rather than negative stories or things that we have been through. So I've been trying to sit up tall all the time. Um, I feel like that was amazing. I learned this, that, this, that week, this, this week. Ah, smoke's getting to me. Hopefully you don't feel it. If you need to take a break from the smoke, please do so. I know I felt it in my house. So I am now in San Diego. I took a six hour drive to get out of it. Um, also, you could put towels by your doors and your windows so that smoke doesn't seep in. Okay, so lay down any way you like. Your knees can be bent, leaning in towards each other, or, oh, okay, or your feet can be extended, your legs can be extended the same way you would lay down in traditional savasana. If you're sitting with me, sit on your prop, Relax your shoulders back, let's sit up nice and tall, and everyone enjoy closing your eyes. Know that you're in a safe place. And let's slow down our breath. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Notice the sounds around you. Allow them to go further away from you. Then bring your attention into the sounds in just your room. How does the space feel? How does the air feel as it touches your skin? I'll bring your attention to the space on your mat, your hips as they're supported by the ground, your shoulders as they are relaxed and down your back, your hands, maybe they're turned up towards the sky or resting on your knees. Bring your attention into where we're breathing from. Inhaling in through your nose, letting your breath travel down the back of your throat. Your chest opens up, your ribs open up, your belly fills. And as you exhale, allow every part of you to relax and release and soften. Inhale, chest opens and lifts, ribs fill, belly fills. Exhale out the back of your throat, through your nose. Inhale, ribs, belly. Exhale, belly, ribs. It's natural for your thoughts to come in and try to distract you. Allow your thoughts to come in, but then also allow them to pass without connecting emotion to the thoughts or judgment, without letting the thought go into another thought. Come back into your breath. Try to quiet the mind by focusing on your breath. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Exhale. 
So take our breath one step deeper. Let's enter our Ujjayi breath. It's the same as your full body yoga breath, but we're adding a tightness of the throat on your exhale, making that nice humming sound in the back of your throat. That's gonna help you build focus and heat through your body. At the end of your complete exhale, slightly pause for one to two counts and then start your inhale again. Let's bring our chin into our chest. Allow your right ear to roll over to your right shoulder. Take an inhale. If you're laying down, just turn your chin to the right. As you exhale, chin goes into your chest. Allow your left ear to go to your left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, chin into your chest, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, chin into your chest, left ear, left shoulder. All right, allow your chin to come to center. Sweep your arms out into the side, all the way behind you, over your head. Palms turn in, shoulders stay down. Inhale. As you exhale, turn the palms down. Let your arms go out to the side. Palms come down towards your hips. Good. Palms turn up. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, palms turn down. Exhale, sweep down. Again, palms turn up, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, palms turn down, exhale, sweep down. All right. Let's release your prop if you're sitting on it and let's lay down, unravel your legs, bring your knees over to one side and find a way to safely lay on your mat. Take your feet as wide as your mat, let your hands go into a comfortable spot. They can fall off your mat. Knees come to center, inhale. As you exhale, let your knees go way over to the right. Gaze goes to the left. Inhale as your knees come to center. Knees go to the left, gaze goes slightly to the right. Good, do a few of these side to side. Just taking up your space. Letting your body move freely. Checking in with your hips and your back and even your neck and shoulders. Come back to your breath. Especially if you feel yourself getting distracted. Let's come to center with our knees. Pull your knees into your chest. Give your knees a little squeeze. Good. Let's extend our legs up to the sky. Flex your feet, peel your toes back. I feel this a lot in my hamstrings and my calves. We're gonna feel it in different places, depending on our workout or lack of workout. Take another deep breath here. As you exhale, soften your feet, bend your knees, release your feet down to the ground. Take your hands down by the side of your body. Inch your fingers towards the front of your mat, pressing, then press your palms down. Press your shoulders back, press your triceps into the mat. Find your neutral spine where you're not tucking your tailbone or rounding through the low back. It's a natural spine, the spine that you walk with. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, then begin to tuck your pelvis, squeeze your glutes, let that squeeze be what lifts your hips up to the sky. Try your hardest not to look left to right as you press your arms down into the mat. Take an inhale. 
As you exhale, hold the squeezes of your glutes as you slowly roll one vertebrae down at a time. At the very bottom, let your spine go to neutral, your tailbone relaxes. Take an inhale. As you exhale, tuck your pelvis, squeeze your glutes. And let's reach your arms behind you. Coming into your reverse cat-cow. If you have a shoulder injury, arms don't go over your head. Take an inhale. As you exhale, draw a line down the ceiling. Roll your vertebrae down. At the very bottom, release your tailbone back to neutral. Let's do that one more time. Inhale while you're down. Exhale, begin to squeeze your glutes. Lift your hips, reach your arms back and over your head. Press deeper through your heels. Try not to let those knees splay out. Take an inhale at the top. And exhale, roll down and through. So let's bring our knees into our chest. Massage our lower back doing rocks or circles side to side. If you feel tension on the knee, don't hold around the shin, hold around your thighs. If you're doing circles, switch directions on your circles, go the other way around. Good, let's stop our circles. Bring your knees towards your heart. Take an inhale. As you exhale, pull the knees in deeper. Now inhale, let your knees go arms distance away from you. Maybe they come off your fingers. So your knees go past that reach, away from your fingers. And as you exhale, slide your hands back to your knees, maybe to your shins, and pull your knees towards your heart. Inhale, your knees go arms distance or more than arms distance away from you and exhale squeeze the knees back in inhale knees drift away from you exhale pull it good do three more of these to your own breath Coming back to either your full body yogic breath or the ujjayi. Now let's release our feet down to the ground. Bring your right leg up to the sky. Good, flex your foot, take an inhale. As you exhale, point to the toe. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Now inhale, flex the foot, bend your right knee. Squeeze the heel in towards your right glute. Point the toe at the bottom, reach your leg up. Now flex the foot. Exhale, bend. Bringing the heel down, point, and reach. One more, flex, and bend, point, inhale, reach. And we can stay here. Or if your shoulders and your neck feel okay today, you can walk your hands up around your right calf towards, and draw your shin towards your head and your head towards your shin. If you have a hamstring injury, maybe you skip this, right? Please be careful. Go ahead, slowly release your shoulders, neck and head. Bend your right knee. Let your right foot come down. All right. We can pedal through the feet a little bit to get them in a comfortable spot. Take your left knee in, extend your left leg. Now this is where my hamstring injury was or is, let's flex the foot and point the toe. Good, inhale, flex, exhale, point. I try to do 
the splits. I feel like I was so close to the splits, like an inch away from the floor. And I just overdid it. And I think I've been trying to heal this hamstring injury for a year. Good, let's flex the foot, bend the knee, draw your heel towards the seat, point your toe at the bottom, inhale, extend through the knee, exhale, flex, and bend. Point at the bottom, reach up to the sky, flex at the top, and bend. Last one, point, reach, and hold. Now you can stay here or climb your tree, walking your hands up the calf and drawing your shin towards your head as you draw your head towards your shin. One more breath. Exhale, slide your hands down your tree, roll your shoulders back, head comes back. Let's take your feet wide and do some windshield wipers. Right, and extend your legs out on the ground. Sweep your arms behind your head. Cross your right leg over your left. Cross more the ankle, not the kneecap. So the knees still stay parallel. Just cross your right ankle over the left. Take your right wrist into your left hand. And now shimmy your shoulders a little bit over to the left as you pull your arms to the left. And now scoot your feet to the left. So you create this little tiny sliver of a crescent moon shape. Good. Bring your shoulders back to center. Switch your wrists. Unhinge your right foot off your left. Bring your body back to center. Cross your left ankle over your right. Take your left wrist in your right hand. Pull over to the right as you move your feet a little bit over to your right as well. Now you should feel this through the IT in the left hip, the side of your body. We're going to take three relaxing full body breaths here. Let's bring your shoulders back to center. Release your hands, unhinge the feet. Good. Bend your knees. Heels underneath your knees. You cannot see them, but we visualize that space in our mind's eye. Let's tuck our pelvis, lift our hips, reach your arms behind your head, come into that big waving bridge. As you exhale, draw a line down the ceiling. Your hands come down at the same time that your hips touch. Bring your knees into your chest. Option to rock a few times or just push yourself up. If you have a special case where you're not supposed to rock, MS, scoliosis, vertigo, don't rock. But if it feels good to rock, rock only onto the shoulders. Don't let your head and neck touch. Let's do two more rocks. Two. And one, come all the way up. And let's come into our Sukhasana. Of course, if Sukhasana doesn't feel good, you can always sit on your chair. You can sit with your legs straight or maybe alternate one knee bending at a time. All right, let's sweep up to the sky. Palms turn in, shoulders stay down. As you exhale, fold forward. 
Take two to three full breaths here, letting gravity help you. Again, returning back to the breath. Slide your hands back, rolling your shoulders on top of your hips. Let's switch our shins, bringing in our other shin in front. Inhale, let's sweep up to the sky, palms turn in, shoulders stay down. Exhale, hinge from your hips forward to the ground. Three breaths here. Good, slide your hands back, roll your shoulders back. Take your right hand towards the right side of your mat. Reach your left hand up and over and then start to slide out the right hand and reach your left hand towards the right without rounding through your spine. So you're keeping those left ribs open. Take an inhale and as we exhale, fold towards your right knee. Let your left hand go out and in front of you and then your left hand starts to go over to the left and then the left hand guides us to the left. Let's sweep the right hand up and over. Inhale, exhale, fold towards the left knee, draw that circle with your right hand. Come up and over, inhale, and exhale. Now just go at your own breath. Get comfortable closing your eyes. Seeing where your body, or I guess not seeing at all, but feeling where your body wants to go. And your arm will tell you that, right? Your back is going to tell you what it wants to do today. And where you stretch is different than your neighbor, than me, than the other people in class. And your pace is probably different. Yoga is all about you and your unique practice. Let's do one more of these. All right, inhale, let's come up. Bring your hands up. As you exhale, take your hands behind you. Let's see if we can interlace our fingers, pressing our shoulders back. If you're like, well, that doesn't feel good, keep your hands apart. You can even use a dish towel or a yoga strap or a robe or belt or a regular belt behind you to stretch through the shoulder. So you grab both sides of that. But if you can interlace your fingers, go for it. Lift your heart, press your shoulders back, take an inhale, maybe your gaze begins to lift. As you exhale, let your gaze go forward. Hinge from your hips, let your head come down towards the ground, and then maybe we push the arms up towards the sky. And slowly restack your spine. Hands come towards the hips. Release your hands. Let's do three shoulder rolls here. Inhale as your shoulders come up. Exhale as you press them down your back. Three. Two. And one, good, let's switch our shins, bringing the left dominant shin in front. Inhale, sweep up to the sky, palms turn in, shoulders stay down. Exhale, fold forward over your shins. Three full body breaths. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale. Exhale, exhale. Slide your hands back, roll your shoulders back. Take your hands on your knees and let's come into our Kudalini heart circles. Inhale, pulling your heart over to your right knee, your belly comes with you and over to the left knee. As you exhale, round through the spine, hollow out through your navel. Inhale to the right, left and round. 
You can go as low as you want or you can stay up higher. Working through that side cat and the cow. One more heart circle. Make your way back to center. Now let's switch directions. Inhale over to the left knee. Still inhaling as you go to the right knee. Exhale, hollow at the belly. Your neck should stay relaxed. Your gaze stays relaxed. If you feel any tension in the neck, take your head a little side to side, shake it off, right? Add one more big circle here. Come back to center. Inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. As you exhale, come into your cactus arms, bending your elbows out 90 degrees. Inhale here. Exhale, pull the elbows in towards each other. Let the knuckles touch, palms touch. Inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, pull in. Good, inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, open up. Extend your arms in a big V. As you exhale, turn the palms down and let your hands go down and behind you, cape pose, or interlace your fingers. Press your shoulders back. Begin to lift your heart towards the sky and lift your gaze. Deep breath in. Exhale, straighten your gaze forward. Inhale here. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Crown goes towards the floor. Hands come up towards the sky. Uh, let's roll your shoulders back on top of your hips. Release your hands towards your low back and then release your hands. Relax the shoulders. Three shoulder rolls. Inhale as your shoulders come up. Exhale, press them back. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's release your legs and come into your tabletop. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. If you have sensitive knees or you know you just like a padding, grab that blanket or a towel and place it underneath your knees. Your finger should be spread, your pointer finger parallel with your mat's edge and your other pointer finger. Right, let's let our bellies drape down towards the ground. Open your heart, let your tailbone shoot up towards the sky. As you exhale, hollow up through your navel, round your spine, press your mat away from you. And it's like a sensation that you're, you want your mat to curl between your hands and your knees. Inhale, belly comes down. Heart starts to open, press your shoulders back. And exhale, big round. Good. Keep on going and try closing your eyes. Moving more intuitively through your cat cow. Honoring your space. Taking your time. Now let's take one more deep cow here. Belly comes down, heart opens. As you exhale, round your spine. Take your knees as wide as your mat. Let your big toes come towards each other and then drop your hips down towards your heels. Forehead comes to the mat. Extended child's pose. In extended child's pose, we're pressing into our palms so much that the elbows come off the mat. The forearms are engaged and our biceps are also engaged. Now, let's come into full child's pose. Letting our arms come by our body, the backs of our hands rest on the mat. If you ever need to take a break, you can come into any child's pose you like. If child's pose is not comfortable, you just pick a pose that is comfortable and that can be your home pose. Come back to your breath. Re 
Reach your right arm out. Turn your right ear towards the floor. Now option to keep the left hand where it is or try bending the left elbow and taking the left hand behind your back. Some of you might be able to take your left fingertips and wrap them on the top of the right thigh. I cannot, but maybe your arms are longer than mine. You're more stretched out in your pec major than me. That's okay. Good, let's release your left hand. Take your left hand out. Turn your left ear towards the floor. Let your right hand come by the side of your body or option two, right hand comes behind your back and your right fingertips maybe tuck into the top of your left thigh. Good, let's release your hand, release your forehead to the mat. Come into extended child's pose, pressing into your palms and your knuckles. Now shift forward from your knees, rounding your spine, and at the top, come into your tabletop, your neutral spine. Bring your knees back underneath your hip bones. Now, shift your shoulders past your wrists. So you feel your abs turn on. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips, coming back into your tabletop. Again, shift forward, shoulders past your hands, lift your gaze. Exhale, come back into tabletop. One more time, shift forward. Exhale, back into tabletop. Now let's shift forward, bend the elbows, come all the way down to the mat. Slide your hands out, bend your knees. You can stack your hands and rest your hands underneath your forehead. Do reverse windshield wiper, letting your feet go side to side. Good. Stop your windshield wiper. Release your right foot. Now keep the left knee bent. This is where you might want to grab your yoga strap to help you, or just reach back with your left hand for your left foot. Draw the left heel towards your left glute. Three So let's release your left foot and switch sides. Bend your right knee, take your right hand onto your right foot and breathe. Okay. I don't know if it's, someone was saying that the audio was cutting out. It might be because I was laying down with you. Can you hear me good now? Okay, then I'll just sit as you guys do this. Bend your left knee and reach for your left foot in your left hand. Take three deep breaths here. Relaxing breath. Remember that gravity is your friend. Let gravity help you. Well, let's release your left foot. Take your hands by your floating ribs. Wrists right underneath your elbows. Press onto your hands and knees and push back into extended child's pose. Beautiful. Walk your hands over to the right. Take your left hand on top of your right and push your hips down to the left. Beautiful. 
walk your hands over to the left. Take your right hand on top of your left. And as you exhale, push your hips down into the right. Walk your hands to center. Shift your shoulders on top of your hands and shift your knees back underneath your hips, coming into your tabletop. Knees should be about two fists distance apart. So if you were wide before, bring them back in. Curl your toes under, lift your knees one inch away from the mat. So you're just hovering off the mat. This is the lowest plank you can do. Bring your chin away from your chest. Think of the tall spine even here. Your straight line from the top of your head up your tailbone. Beautiful sharing and tanning. Good, take one more deep breath. As you exhale, push your hips up and back, finding your downward facing dog. If you're feeling tight in your hamstrings, you can step your feet wider. You can even go as wide as the mat. Now begin to pedal through, softening your right knee, drawing the left heel towards the ground. And then soften your left knee, draw the right heel down. Breathe through the back of your legs and your calves. You are in an inversion. You're upside down. So if you're not supposed to be here, don't do it. If you get vertigo or you have low blood pressure or shoulder injury, maybe you go straight into the forward fold for shoulder injuries. But if this feels good, really embrace it. Take your head yes and no. Being upside down can give you euphoric effects, feelings of happiness, also really good for blood flow. Two, two, one, and one. Let's step your feet as many steps as you like to meet your hands. Good. Nice tap, Tanya. Let's place your hands on your shins, come up halfway into a flat back, squeezing your shoulder blades back and together like you do in Cobra. As you exhale, fold down towards your toes. Inhale, come up with a flat back and arms go out into the side, push all the way up, bring your hands up with you. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center in your Anjali Mudra. Inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, it's into your heel, bend your knees, sweep your arms out and over your shoulders, keep your knees on your heel. Look down at your feet, make sure that your knees do not pass your toes and then sit a little lower. Pull your belly away from your thighs. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, hands come down, round your spine. Inhale, place your hands on your shins, come up halfway, squeezing the shoulder blades back and together. Exhale, fold down towards your toes. Inhale, lift with a flat back first, arms come out to the side in a T, then press into your heels, sweep up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, extend and match and pose. Uttita Hasana and Tadasana. Exhale, hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasana. Sit into your heels, arms reach up and over. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands on your shins, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain pose, come up. Hands can come with you. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Now let's step your feet wide. They say a good distance is wrist to wrist distance. If your arms are out into a T. Now, I think a lot of us wanna turn our toes out in an external rotation, but try to bring your toes right in front of your heels so that you're not turning out, okay? So you are wide, okay? Now hands can come to your hips. Inhale, lift your heart coming into a baby back bend. Exhale, straighten your spine, gaze goes forward. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, gaze goes forward. One more time. Inhale, lift your heart. 
Exhale, gaze goes forward. Now lift your heart. Exhale, gaze goes forward. Hinge at your hips. Hinge at your hips. And you can stay right here. You can reach for a chair or a desk, or you can reach down for the floor. Again, slowing down your breath. My advanced yogis might be able to take their head down to the mat. Feet might scoot wider. And then you know where to go from there. Again, if you're not supposed to be upside down, vertigo, low breath pressure, students, you're gonna stay halfway down. Lots on the core, this halfway spot. That's good. We want to strengthen it there. Two more full breaths. So let's bring our hands to our hips. Engage your core. Everyone come halfway up. If you hyperextend, which means you lock your knees and you go out up, over straight, I need you to keep a little bend in your knees so you're not locking out your knees. Protect yourself. Inhale, press through the heels. Come back up. Inhale, sweep up to the sky. Exhale, take your hands down. Press your palms back. Interlace your fingers. If possible, press the shoulders back. Lift your heart, come into your back bend. As you exhale, straighten your spine. Gaze goes go forward. Inhale. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Right, bring your hands up to the sky and over your head. Now let your hands come to your hips, only come up halfway. Hands go to the side of your hips. Inhale, press through your heels, come up slowly. We don't want the blood to rush to our head and for us to get dizzy, so take your time. Turn your right toes out to the right. Bend your right knee. Now let's lift your left heel. And we're coming into a lunge. Face the right, square off your hips. Inhale, sweep up to the sky. As you exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Come halfway down into your incline lunge. So you're a straight line from the top of your head out your left heel. For those of you, you that really want to go into your runner's lunge, you can reach for the ground. Three breaths. If you have that chair close, you can rest your forearms in your chair. And it's nice. If you're on the ground, come onto your fingertips. Let's all take a deep breath in. As we exhale, let's bring our hands to our heart, pulling our stomach off our thigh. Take an inhale, exhale, turn your toes slightly to the left, coming back to where we started. Sweep your hands up, exhale, hands reach forward, come halfway down and hold. Arms go out and around to our hips. Let's breathe right here. Inhale, press into your heels. Hold here. Exhale, turn your left toes out to the left. Bend your left knee over the ankle. Inhale. Exhale, lift your right heel. Square off the hips. Sweep your hands out in front of your shoulders and then up to the sky. Gaze goes forward. Shoulders stay down. Exhale, hands to our heart. Incline lunge. So you can stay right here or you can reach down to the ground or you could reach for that chair. I didn't plan to have chairs on both sides of me, but now I'm really liking this setup. Your props are your friends. Props and gravity, they are our friends. Now 
But if you're on your hands, let's come onto those fingertips, engage your core, take an inhale. Exhale, lift off the fingertips, hands to your heart. Inhale, exhale, turn your feet to the right, toes in front of your heels, coming back into our prasarita. Arms come up to the sky. Exhale, hinge from the hips, push your tailbone back behind you and reach those arms out and hold your halfway point. Arms wrap around in our Pilates arm circle, sneaking that in here, taking your hands to your hips. Think length. Inhale, press into your heels. All right, exhale, roll the shoulders back. Let's heel toe slightly in. So our feet are back to two fist distance apart. Sit into your heels, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands on your shins, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Bend your knee, come into sitting down on your mat. Extend your legs out in front of you. Inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold towards your shins. Good, inhale, place your hands on your shins, lift your gaze, retract your shoulders, come up halfway. Exhale, fold down towards your toes. And bring your right knee in. Watch out for the shoulders, press them down. Let your right knee go out to the right. Left heel stays in front of your left hip. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold towards your left shin. The reach of your hands is not important. You can even bend your elbows and let your hands relax by your calves. And now take your right hand around your left foot. It's on the outside edge of your left foot. Reach your left hand behind you on the ground and draw your right ear towards your left knee. Good, slide your hands back to neutral, rolling your shoulders back on top of your hips. Extend your right leg out, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold towards your shin. Inhale, hands on your shins or closer to your knees. Press your shoulders back, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold down towards your toes. Inhale, pull your left knee in. Shoulders stay down, gaze is soft, breath is full. Exhale, let your left knee go out to the left. Inhale, sweep up to the sky. Exhale, fold towards your right shin. But now you can stay like this or try wrapping that left hand around the outside edge, the pinky edge of your right foot, letting your right hand go behind you and then draw your left ear towards your right knee. Roll your shoulders back on top of your hips. Relax the hands to neutral. Extend your legs out in front of you. Take your hands up to the sky as you inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands in front of your shoulders. Start to tuck your pelvis and roll one vertebrae down at a time. If you need to, you can use your hands to come down. Bend your knees, let your feet go wide. Come into those windshield wipers. Go to the left, roll to the right. Notice the change you've created for your body, space. One. 
Let your feet come parallel. Hands down by the side of your body. Make sure there's nothing underneath your head. Take an inhale. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, tuck your pelvis, roll up to the sky. And maybe walk those shoulders underneath you. Interlace your fingers. Some press through your triceps. Coming into your full bridge. Four breaths here. One more deep breath, lift your hips higher. Release your fingers, untuck the shoulders, and slowly roll down. And bring your knees into your chest. Rock a little bit on the way in. Arms come out into a T or cactus, whatever is more comfortable on the shoulder joint. Exhale, letting your knees go over to the right. Gaze goes to the left. Good, unravel the legs, knees come in one at a time, inhale, exhale, twist to the left, gaze goes to the right. Let's bring our knees in, find your happy baby, either holding onto the thighs and going wide, or reaching for the outside edges of the foot, spiking your heel right above the knee, opening your knees to the outside edges of your body towards your armpits, and then we kind of rock here. Make sure you remember babies, they do this. My niece always does this. She's really good at this pose. Good. From here, do any stretch, big or small, that you'd like to do. Maybe a straddle or an arm stretch. And once you're ready, let's enter your Shavasana. Your soles of your feet can be together, knees go out. Or a traditional Shavasana where your legs go long. If you have a tailbone sensitivity, you can bend your knees. Let your knees lean in towards each other and feet go wide. You could also even roll over into the side of your body and do Shavasana on your side or on prone, on your belly button. Close your eyes. Let your palms turn open towards the sky. Lay down. Relax, release in your most comfortable pose. You're longer than you were before. You are taller in your body. There's more space in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Embrace that space. You deserve it. You deserve time. You deserve space. You deserve to feel good in your body. And you deserve a thank you.
set to move your toes and your fingers. Reach one arm back and roll over into that side using your arm as a pillow to rest your head on. Bend your knee. Let's use your free hand to help push you up into a seated position. However you like to sit is perfect. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, let's sweep up to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Let's seal our practice with one more big breath together. Thank you for letting me practice with you today. Namaste.